Hello. Hold on. Start again. Hello. My name is Destry Jackson. I'm from a little town called Norcater, Kansas, up in northwest Kansas. I'm a second-year master's student in archaeology at the University of Kansas in Lawrence. And uh, last year, I was helping out the I was helping out the Kansas State Historical Society with their uh, dig just north of Topeka. And uh, one evening, they were having. Uh, Jim Congdon, a pastor from a local church, come and give a talk about biblical archaeology. And I've been interested in biblical archaeology since I was about 12, and I read uh, and I read a couple of biblical archaeology review magazines. And uh, so I decided. So when Jim said that he was planning on putting together a crew to come to Israel for a dig this summer, I decided I'd come along with the group. And so I came with the, with the group from Topeka. And uh, uh, this is the last day of the dig, uh, May 31st, 2013. And uh, we've been excavating in this first century house. And uh, right now we're, we've been excavating in this fire pit and we noticed it just kept on getting deeper and deeper and deeper and uh, at one point I came across a little blue stone and I noticed it had been worked and that it was different than some of the other stones that we had found and so I uh, handed it to Brian and Brian Peterson the supervisor of my square that I'm working in and uh, he said that it looked like it had been worked and that it uh, was probably a pendant on a necklace or something. And uh, then uh, Israel, Dr. Israel came over and uh, we handed it to him and uh, he automatically saw that it was an Egyptian scarab beetle with uh, a design on the back kind of hieroglyphics and uh, we noticed that it also has cuneiform writing on it and it's pretty cool.